they hate my Filipino English accent. Is it a must for every Filipino to learn neutral, American, or British accent? Does it make a difference from others if you have neutral or British accent? Why is it they underrated the Filipino English accent? Wow! Oh, it's you! Nice to see you again! Thanks for dropping by on my channel and please do consider subscribing if you're not yet connected with me. It's been a long time that we haven't seen each other. But it's okay, because I'm back. Our topic into this episode is quite controversial. Or should I say, a bit degrading in our part. Just a while ago, I raised three questions for us to contemplate. Note that everything that will be discussed in this episode is purely based on my research, experience, and observation. The first question was, is it a must for every Filipino to learn neutral, American, or British accent? The answer is yes and no. Yes, in the sense that, BPO companies are growing like mushrooms in big cities here in the Philippines. In order to be hired, Filipino applicants must undergo training and they must learn how to speak using a British or American accent. No questions asked, because it's a part of their training and hiring process. It is also a big no, because we are born Filipinos, not Americans. There is no wrong with our Filipino English accent, because our accent is sexy though. As long as we can convey the message, there is no reason for us to be shy in using our own Filipino English accent. I won't deny it, because even me, I've been learning for quite some time though, how to sound like a neutral or British accent while talking in front of the mirror. I'm just, should I say, very passionate in learning the accent, but it would change of who I am as a Filipino. Does it make you different from others if you learn neutral or British accent? It's a big no for this. Learning neutral or British accent will not make you great or powerful. Yes, we could not deny it that it is pleasing to the ear if we hear Filipinos speak or talk using the foreign accent. But it will not change of who they are as a Filipino. Maybe they're just passionate enough in learning the accent, but it will not make them superior. Accent is just like an icing on a cake, just an ornament. No more, no less. Let's jump to the next issue, but I want you to cool down and stay calm. Why is it the underrated, the Filipino English accent? I've seen a video of an influencer sharing her thoughts and experience while she's studying abroad and staying there for good. She's a bit saddened by the reaction of the people there when she starts talking using the Filipino English accent. Oh, you're from the Philippines, right? I can tell it with your accent. There is nothing wrong with her accent, but the way they responded is quite a bit degrading in our part. Maybe because they idolize people who can speak using British or American accent and belittle those who cannot. For me, it is not all about the accent, it is all about how passionate and confident you are in using the English language. Why they hate the Filipino English accent? Is it because of my intonation? Or how the way I enunciate and pronounce words? Or it's either the texture of my voice? Or maybe I am less convincing when talking using this accent? Or is it awkward for them to listen to me? Nah, I don't care. I love my accent. What matters is how passionate I am in using the English language in a Filipino way. For me, it gives us an identity that we are Filipino. And I'm proud of my accent. I have here some example that is worth to mention. I like how Indians use their accent in talking while using the English language. And they are very proud of it. It makes us think and realize that it is not all about the accent, it is all about what's inside here and here. And please do a thumbs up if you agree. There you have it folks. I hope you learned something in today's episode. I hope it will make you realize that there is no wrong with our Filipino English accent and we need to be proud of it. 
If you have additional inputs, thoughts, and insights, don't forget to write a comment down below. For any topic suggestions for my next episode, don't forget to write it down as well. It's me, Iwao. Thank you for tuning in to Iwao TV.